our voices today, Lord God, and gather up courage, Lord Jesus, to begin to speak and pray in your name, Lord God. Thank you, Lord, that we don't have to remember or hold on, Lord, to the things we do wrong or the things going on in our family or life or situation, Lord, to allow some kind of discouragement into our life, Lord, some kind of insecurity into our prayer lives. Thank you, Lord, that because of the cross, we can take on confidence tonight as we approach your throne to pray, Lord God, and to ask for great things, Lord God, in our lives and in your kingdom. Lord, I pray that you open your word into our hearts I pray, Lord God, that your spirit helps us see, Lord God, and understand that our perspective in prayer, Lord God, may become a biblical one every day of our life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's get into the Word before we pray today. I'm incredibly excited because the title for the nugget is this, When Demons Get Fired. When demons get fired. We're going to look at a story of a boy that was demon possessed and they had tremendous authority and power in his life. And his father is the one that in the search for freedom is really driven to Jesus. And this father is driven to Jesus because he is so concerned and he wants that demon activity to stop as every father would desire it to stop in his son's life. He brings his little boy to the disciples of Jesus. The word tells us they, they couldn't cast that thing out. How many of you know that when you're waiting on an answered prayer, God has a plan? Amen. Amen. Because some demons were about to get fired, Jesus was going to make it far greater than the situation with the disciples would have ever allowed. There was a deeper need in this father's life than what he was seeing in his son. The father wasn't looking for that need to be fulfilled. He wasn't looking for that need to be changed. All he could see as any one of us would only see what is going on in the life of our loved one. But he is literally driven. These demons caused this father to end up in front of Jesus Christ. And a deeper need in that father was going to be addressed before his child was even going to be set free. And these demons, they really messed up their assignment. This was one of those cases where only one was being oppressed by demons, yet two get set free. They really messed up their assignment. They got fired. They did not follow through. They truly caused the opposite of what the kingdom of darkness had intended to take place. Two people were set free, even though initially only one was being oppressed. I'm telling you, church, the Lord is showing me something in this place that gets my heart rejoicing because it doesn't matter what the enemy is doing to your family. It doesn't matter what he's doing in your life or comes against you in whatever way. God has a plan to get these demons fired and to get them assigned to the lowest parts of hell. Useless now. Absolutely useless. Put on display. Let me read to you two verses from Mark chapter 9. Jesus said to him, that's to the Father, If you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. Immediately the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. You see, this father, all of a sudden he could see. He encountered Jesus Christ. All of a sudden he could see. He didn't say, Lord Jesus, I believe. Please set my son free. Lord Jesus, I believe. Please deal with these things in my family. Lord Jesus, I believe. Please heal my son from this horrible journey that is going on, the father could all of a sudden see something so far beyond that, that the cry in his heart changed because the perspective of his prayer life, if you will, prayer means asking. His asking life changed right then and there. 
the issue in his son drove him to Christ but the, the the asking life how he was asking what he was asking for it changed he cries out to Jesus the moment he can see he says help my unbelief now I've heard this explained many times oh this man had no faith but that's not true the first thing he says is God I believe I qualify for what you just told me I have many issues probably have sins in my life I have demonic activity in my family but you're telling me that all things are possible for those that believe I believe this is about me I can I all things are now possible for me if that is true in my life then here's the request God help my unbelief if all I need to be is a man that believes that God would send his Messiah to set free the people of God I am that I do believe God would send his son I do believe that God loves people if all things are possible for those that believe Lord I believe help my unbelief this man came to faith he finally believed that all that God required was a man or a woman that believes in their heart that God says who he is and that he sent his only begotten son to set people free as if the father was saying I finally found a Messiah who can do all things who can help me in all things this is where I need help help my unbelief I found a Messiah who's not offended I found a Messiah who can do the impossible in my life surely he's gonna take care of my baby boy I don't need to beg and pray for my baby boy to be healed or to be restored or to be set free by a Messiah that tells someone like me, a father like me, a mom like me, a person like me. If all you can do is believe, all things are possible for you in God's kingdom. This man found the Messiah that can do all things. A Messiah that we can say, God, if all things are possible, take me by the hand and lead me out of the valley of depression. Lord, if all things are possible, open my eyes so that I can understand the scripture. If all things are possible, heal my weakness, heal my sickness. I found a Messiah that is not offended with my inabilities to be like him, my inabilities to be a good Christian, my inabilities to lead my family to freedom my inabilities, my lack of faith. I found a Messiah that's willing to help. All things are possible for someone that only can believe that God has given His Son. Church, do not ever be impressed by what Satan or his workers, all of hell, is pouring over your life or over your family. All things are possible. Let those issues, let those challenges, let hell's activity, whatever it may look like in your life, in your thinking or in your family, let it drive you to Jesus and let's get some demons fired tonight. Amen? Amen. All things are possible is a prayer perspective. It is a gift that Jesus Christ began to give to all those that would believe that He is the Son of Almighty God and we can take on that prayer perspective for someone like me I have all my mistakes I have all my flaws I have so many grand needs but I have a Messiah that says all things are possible for those who believe he didn't say all things are possible for those that follow me perfectly all things are possible for evangelists all things are possible for pastors. All things are possible for old people in the faith. He didn't say that. He said anyone who believes. All things are possible. I want to invite you tonight to take on a biblical prayer perspective. That for you who believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. All things, don't matter what you bring up. All things are possible. God, I believe, help help me help my unbelief help my struggle to read the word help in whatever area you need help this father began to pray the deepest need in his life help my unbelief I'm that believer I believe that you are the Christ this is where I need help. I need more faith I need more understanding I need more patience with my wife I need more kindness 
towards my children. I have a God, all things are possible. Now I know how to pray. I can ask the impossible from a God that is willing to do all things. We need to learn to pray the impossible because God says, I make everything possible for those who believe. We have a God that is not offended with our needs. We have a God that is not offended with our needs. If you would stand with me for a moment here in person, if you would join me in prayer and agree with me in prayer online as well, we're going to pray that our hearts may see and that we may take on a biblical prayer perspective. For you, Holy Spirit, to show us to our heart that for someone that can only believe that Jesus is the Son of Almighty God, all things are possible we can take all of our impossibilities to our God he turns them around and makes them possible Lord God change our prayer perspective that we may pray boldly that we may pray large prayers tonight Lord God and that we may stand on the confidence of that my Jesus said for me all things are possible that's why I'm praying that's why I sound the way I sound that's why I pray the prayers that are large sizes Lord God we come before you and Lord we thank you that for a people like us sinners saved by grace God thank you that for a people like us you say all things are possible the enemy tries to whisper to people this is not possible for you I'm in control I set the boundaries to your suffering you will never be free you will never be healed you will never be forgiven you will never be a great husband you will never be great in your finances you will never be great in the way that you make decisions in your life you will never be great in your freedom Lord God thank you that we can take all of our impossibilities to you and that you are not offended by our impossibilities but that you command that all things become possible for those who believe in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ Lord God give us your perspective on prayer give us a biblical prayer perspective Lord God one more time Lord God we choose to believe that all things are possible for me all things are possible for me when I believe that Jesus is the Son of God thank you God for your gospel for our prayer life that all things are possible I can ask for large faith I can ask for freedom I can ask for this nation I can ask for freedom for others I can stand in the gap and pray for those that do not pray thank you God that all things all things are possible thank you Lord teach us to pray that way Lord God send your spirit upon our hearts and our minds teach us to pray according to your word Lord God teach us to pray in Jesus name Amen Amen